So hello guys and welcome here again to a new video and today we're going to talk again about the Doge chain and it's continuing to grow which is very good and obviously if that sounds interesting well I suggest you should leave a like, comment and subscribe because that helps out the channel quite a lot and also make sure to join the Discord as well as Telegram, link for those in the description down below. And without further ado, let's have a quick look at the TVL of the Doge chain which currently sits at 20 million so we are back again on track on reversing actually and going back up again even though yesterday there was 21 million now we are at 20 million uh, so that's a bit of a decline but still if we looked at it earlier the market was a bit more down now it picks up again and a bit as anticipated we see that reflect on the farms and on the other tokens that we have on the Doge chain as well as on the protocols we see them come out of nowhere like Choco Doge, which we're going to have a look at today because it is again a new yield farm that has come out and it's always good to look at stuff when it's new because if we didn't we wouldn't have found out about Kibble. And talking about Kibble Swap for example, we are here on their website, we go over onto the farming page and we can see that the APR is going up again. And you can guess why that is, well that's because the token finally is having a recovery after finding the bottom and yeah exactly when we made the video yesterday uh, we were able to yeah catch the bottom and we didn't buy anything but it's funny because we said around here that I think we are close to the bottom and now it seems like it's reversing um, is that also reflecting on the position over on matrix yes it definitely is we are back at where we started 168 dollars Currently is still earning 3.7%, so in a week $52, and in a week we are up again in profit. And that's exactly how the game plan is playing out. Our position that we have planted over on the Doge chain are still gaining a lot on a daily dose, if we can say it like this. 4% still on 168 is around yeah, 6 bucks, so that's still a lot of money that we receive for doing nothing, and obviously those position will even gain more once we see uh, kibble back at prices that was a few days ago and obviously that takes some time for the prices to reach that level again but if we do so I don't think that there will anything stop the protocol from doing so farming uh, not farming staking 240% APR so that went down again and that is a bit because the total TVL again regarding staking it's picking up because of the token price and if the token obviously is gaining in price the more TVL that is locked and it will be split a bit more accordingly because it's split on the dollar value that you have and that is obviously how it's been done so the APR is a bit declining but also maybe because of the fees that you are seeing here uh, from the swap and from the DEX but nevertheless Kibble is still one of the most impressive uh, farm out there. The new farm that I wanted to give a touch on is the Choco Doge and they got around two tokens now which are already out and there will be an additional one that comes out and this is again we have saw it on a lot of uh, uh, blockchains for example Polaris was one of the things that did the same they have a stable coin and they will create bonds for uh, earning stables and then also at some point they will have a bank and bonds and even more and currently the farming thing is the one that is the interesting the most to say the least you see the percentages over here 739 and 489 for web doge and doge chain and that's pretty insane regarding um, the amount <coughs> that you are getting but if I understand it wrong the next vesting time is in 20 days so you will not get anything right now and this will only be reflected in the long term and that's maybe one reason why the percentage is that high um, currently I don't know if I will join this protocol uh, simply because yeah it is a bit more on the risky side of things nevertheless you only deposit obviously Doge join and web Doge. you don't do anything more you will get rewarded even if it is dumping but still then you're not getting that much token as you anticipated but if you want to have another income source on the Doge chain maybe check it out and deposit some funds obviously no financial advice because yeah this is a bit more I would say risky just because of the nature how the token is handled 
And with that being said, that's pretty much my opinion about this farm. Hope you guys enjoyed that. And looking over onto Elans, hope we got some updates regarding that position. We have here the Doge chain and Web Doge, which then can deposit and even earn e -wall. You also have the Doge chain liquidity mining, where you can deposit e -wall and earn Doge chain. Currently, the APR is 695%. Rewards are 22 bucks per day. And obviously, we are going to see more stuff in the near future coming out for this one. And we are still in the position uh, over e -wall and Web Doge, but the token, yeah, did it pick up in price? No, not yet. It continued to go down a bit. And that is maybe simply because it is one on the lowest regarding the TVL on the Doge chain, but that's not the best, uh, the worst thing that can happen. It is actually good because all of a sudden projects like Dojab can go from zero to hero and we see it with a lot of these protocols that launch that they at the start really perform poorly and then only pick up once they're out for long <coughs> regarding the Doge chain that's pretty much it for today hope you guys enjoyed that part moving over to Juno we can see the position again takes up a lot of profit now 20% we are up again uh, Juno is down and Atom is actually pushing right now which is a bit interesting seeing so we are getting less in reports but still our position is increasing because we are getting Juno and war sadly no Atom uh, but looking over onto the liquidity side we can see the APR pretty much is still decent for all the pairs that got already rewards and hopefully <coughs> We can see Juno and Stars uh, getting some rewards in the near future because that's one of the positions that I want to enter as next. And yeah, 84,000 in liquidity, which looks like it actually could happen. Uh, and if you see here, the new pairs as a Juno and War, and those have a really, really high APR, but you get rewarded in another token. So that's again a position I would not really recommend joining. Uh, just because the APR side doesn't mean that the rewards are good. Here we know that the rewards are in Juno and War, and most likely those are the tokens that will perform the best in the short term as well as in the long term, because those are the governance token, both of Juno and of Juno Swap. Regarding Kujiwa, we are still staking and giving an update. We are not really having much rewards, but that will most likely change once the USK launch is going around. Currently, we can see already the hype a bit in the price of the token, $1.45 um, $1 currently, and that's definitely not bad regarding that position. Looking over onto the Aurora blockchain, we are going to have a look at Ping P again simply how much we can claim uh, so yeah around 194 that we have to claim and we are going to do that and restake them obviously on the side and then uh, so many protocols want me to okay perfect now we wait until they are in our wallet and then we proceed on staking them again percentage 270 percent for uh, yeah staking your p is definitely uh, interesting still even though uh, it was very high at the beginning, it is still not going down that much. I think even the P token went up a bit in price. If we pull up the chart, uh, yeah, we can see it again, hovering over two cents now again, liquidity at 30,000. So yeah, it went up again a bit. But yeah, I'm not really concerned about the price too much of the token, simply because we are waiting still for landing governance to come out. <coughs> and if that's the case, then we are really concerned about the price because now they are still building and after they have built it we are looking into it deeply but yeah that's pretty much it for today hope you enjoyed make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe and we see us in tomorrow's video goodbye